It's Canadian cerveza time, eh? Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for the Roost Brewski review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys, or the Cerveza that I have for you guys, is by the Amsterdam Brewery. Just got dropped off today. They're doing not Ontario wide shipping, but different areas. Check out their website to see where your postal code's at. We have today Fria Cerveza Especial brewed with fresh lime zest. Looking like a party kind of beer. 4.6% alcohol by volume. Any IBUs listed on the very yellow, white, and red, and green can. Pretty cool can. Brewed with fresh lime zest. Seems like it's gonna be Targeting those uh, those Corona, the the Corona drinkers targeting that Rona season. So watch out, watch out, Corona. Can Canada's coming to, to sweep up your sales. And I found some maracas from uh, from some of our trips to Mexico. I found a little hat. I thought I had a sombrero uh, as as a Halloween costume, but we got rid of that. And now I'm kind of wishing I had Jordan's giant red uh, sombrero that I used to wear in the uh, um, in the Guess That Beer videos, uh, which are definitely on hiatus with this whole uh, COVID thing, but they will be back. Um, but yeah, this is a little straw hat that I found. Thought it was fitting, and the maracas were, were a nice touch. Thanks. Thanks, mom and dad, for giving me that idea. But yeah, no, today's more about the beer rather than the get up, but the get up seemed to be uh, necessary. Yeah, Fria Cerveza Especial, brewed with fresh lime zest, 4.6% ABV. No IBUs on the can or the website or on tap, so we're going in a little blind here. So let's just crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Pouring it into my Amsterdam bone shaker skull mug because matchy matchy. So let's pour this bad boy up. Let's see what we got. Looking forward to this. Can't really see how much I'm pouring in here. It's about half the can right there, I want to say. Seems pretty good. Doesn't look like a lot, but it is half the can. Looking at the beer, still kind of a dirty glass, but it's all right. But it's, it, it's not that dirty. It's really not that dirty. Um, but looking at the beer, fairly pale, straw, yellow in color, extremely clear, white head on top. Not the best glass to show off a beer in, but oh well, it's matchy matchy. Let's have a smell. It smells like a lime lager, very similar to like Bud Light lime. Not as nasty as the uh, Coors Slice lime. But definitely lime zest, a lot fresher, a lot cleaner, a lot... A lot more refreshing on the nose compared to even like Bud Light Lime. This is definitely a lot betterly uh, produced in my humble opinion. But it smells so inviting. It smells just absolutely refreshing. The lime is popping out there. You get a nice little bit of breadiness. Also a little crackery, which is kind of cool. But lime zest just pops out beautifully. Let's just have a sip. That is pretty damn good. Wow. That is definitely a cerveza with a Canadian t uh, kick. Um, really, not, yeah. Le um, how do I put this? It is, uh, well, similar to Corona, just enough to, to fit the name cerveza. But also the lime just mm, adds an extra bit of, extra bit of flair to the whole beer itself. It's, it's extremely refreshing. Very extremely flavorful, light but not airy, effervescent but not overly crisp. It's sitting pretty, and this is a summer refresher. That lime dances really well with the carbonation in here. I don't know why, but they do they do bounce off each other and just make a beautiful note, a note going on there. A little bit of lemon as well kind of popping in. But yeah, slightly, slightly bready, more like, like, uh, like crackery minus the salt, but damn, it's light, it's refreshing, it's crispy, it's, uh, 
It's damn good. I'm gonna pour a little bit more in here actually. It's gonna go down real quick. This is a beer that you're gonna be drinking extremely fast because of how light and how delicious it is. Damn, damn. That is, whoo, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Looking on the can, actually it is a little salty. Is that the glass or the beer? It's definitely the beer. It does have a little bit of like a saltiness to it. Similar to that of like a Goza, but not, not as sour or as tart. But it does seem to have a little bit of saltiness going on, which might seem out of place in, 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 in lagers um, as, as, as a beer style. But in this, it's a nice added element. Cause you know, usually when you're doing tequila, you got a little bit of lemon, you got a little bit of salt, you got a little bit of tequila. And Mexican based beers, Mexican beers, they seem to have a little bit of like a, like a Mexican twang, which I call personally because well, they're beers from Mexico. Um, it has a bit of a twang to them, you know? And this definitely has that, and, and that little bit of saltiness in there, it fits real well. It fits amazingly well. I don't know, this is pretty damn good. This is definitely taking over my Corona adventures. I don't drink Corona that often, but when I, like, there, there are times where I'm just like, hmm, kind of feeling a Corona, and you know what, this, definitely taking that spot. Looking on the can, Amsterdam Brewery, Fria Cerveza Especial, brewed with fresh lime zest, 4.6% alcohol by volume. On the can, we do have a short description. Brewed with flaked corn and lime zest, this Mexican-style lager has aromas of citrus and floral hops. A slight malty sweetness turns into a clean, dry finish. Damn straight it does. I'm not really getting the floraliness of the hops, but citrusy 100%. Uh, share your Amsterdam beer. Da -da 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 -da. To preserve freshness, please keep refrigerated. As well on here, it says it pairs well with that yeah, pairs well with sunshine, maracas, and a sombrero. Now outside it is sunny, and I do have maracas. And I do not have a traditional sombrero, but I do have a straw hat. So we're gonna we're, we're we're hitting most of these marks that the can specifies, which is which is absolutely awesome. On the bottom or on the bottom lip for a brood on date, E0620. E being the fifth month, so we're looking at May 5th, right? May 5th? May 6th, sorry, 2020. So this is an extremely fresh beer. It's just under, it's about 15 days old, right? 15 plus six, makes sense. Yeah, 15 days old. I love that. I love when my beer comes fresh. I love when, when I buy beer fresh, but I even love it more when it comes to my door fresh. That's quality service. And this beer right here is probably right now so far my favorite lime lager. It's not specifically lime lager, but it is brewed with fresh lime zest, not a puree. So this is definitely this is a this is definitely going to be my number one Mexican styled beer as of now. I don't think I've had too many. I've had Corona, uh, Dos Equis. I think I've had Modelo once or twice. I think that's more or less it. So there's not a long list for me to really compare it to. Um, that's one country where I'd like to try more beers if, if I find them here in the LCB or the beer store. But this is, uh, I know this is not from Mexico, but as a Mexican style lager, it's definitely up there. Moving over to the website, AmsterdamBeer.com. You go to the beer page and you know what? It's not on here. A few of Amsterdam's beers are not on their beer page. Which, again, I'm gonna repeat it, bums me out when they don't post what, you know, the new beers on their page. Looks like they have all their, um, their, their, their year round, your, your year round sort of offerings, but where's the page for the, uh, for the special ones, for the one offs, for the, uh, limited releases? You know, but hey, you do you, Amsterdam. The good thing, though, is that they do have it on their shop page. Not a ton of information there, same description as on the can. 
ABVs listed and sizing of, uh, of, of you know, a thing of how to buy it. Prices on package size, which is good, but you're not getting a whole list of information about the beer compared to their regular beer page. So you gotta take what you can get, but at the same time, it would be really cool to see it on the beer page. We'll get to price in just a minute. Moving over to Untapped, Fria Cerveza Espacial has been given a 3.34 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 267 ratings. Finally, it looks like you can pick this beer up at your local LCBO for $3.15 for the 473 ml tall boy can. $3.15, not bad. Definitely, well, obviously over the $3 mark, but it's not gonna break the bank, and you know what? You're getting a damn good beer. So, no complaints. Over on the Amsterdam Breweries shop page, their website, their online store, you can get Fria in a six pack for $17.95. You can also get it in a 25 pack for $54.95. Not a two four, a 25. So, you're getting that one extra beer for more or less the same price as a 2.4. So not bad at all. Good, good stuff. Website's looking fantastic either way. Great information. Not a ton, sorry, on the website thing, but can definitely, definitely give you some uh, some guidance on to what's going on with the beer. And I do appreciate the uh, canned on date on the bottom. Overall, it is a pretty damn good beer. Amsterdam does some good stuff. And when I saw this, I'm like, ooh, let's see their take on a uh, Mexican style lager. I got a little excited, especially when I saw there was brewed with fresh lime zest. And they delivered. They delivered extremely, extremely well. That is just so refreshing. That is a, ooh, that's a new, that's a new summer. That's a summer, oh, I was gonna say summer sipper, but. There's no way you're gonna be sipping on this beer because it goes down so damn. It, it's not. I wouldn't say I, smooth works, but it, it's a little crispy. It's it, it's got a little crispiness to it. This thing is just ooh. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful, beautiful beer. With that said, guys, cheers on the final sip. Let's get right to rings and wrap this thing up. Fria Cerveza Especial. Amsterdam Brewing Company. Brewery, sorry. I always get the two mixed up, whatever. Um, damn, it shocked me. I had a feeling it was gonna be kind of a, you know, I have a little bit of the Mexican lager sort of style, uh, sort of characteristics of it. To what degree, I had no idea. I didn't know if it was gonna be a lot, or if it was just gonna be more like a, you know, a regular lager dressed up as a uh, Mexican style beer, but no. Amsterdam really delivered on this. The, the lime popping. A little bit of lemon as well. A little bit of saltiness that works in quite beautifully. It's crisp, it's refreshing. The carbonation plays really well with the lime characteristics. It's, it's refreshing lime, it's fresh lime. It doesn't taste candied or, medis or, medic or medicinal in any way. It's damn, damn good. And at 4.6%, ooh, sessionability on these bad boys. Ooh, it's up there, it's up there. This is a beautiful thing. Amsterdam Fria Cerveza gets a solid, ooh, ooh, gets a solid 9.5 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, I do love the look of the can. It looks like nothing Amsterdam's really done before. Very light, bright, good times, good vibes coming off this can. Looking awesome. And I love how they say it pairs well with sunshine, maracas, and sombreros. Not my sombrero, but hey, it's a straw hat and it's the best I got. Overall, fantastic stuff. Good information, description, ABV. No ingredients list on here I didn't see. No, but we do have a clearly labeled canned on date as well. No dedicated page for the beer on the website, which is a bummer, but you know, the shop side of things gives you just enough information to make you happy. Overall, presentation gets a solid, gets a solid eight out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruce, we would greatly appreciate it as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruce, like I always say, crack a beer, or in this case, crack a cerveza, and enjoy. Cheers.
Now I can't shake my rockers and pour the rest of my beer, so I'm gonna do this right now. Boom, boom, boom. You can see what videos are around. You can go subscribe right here, here, or here. Who knows? Okay, we're gonna put these down real quick, and we're just gonna, just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna dump it. You can, you can click off the video now. Have a good day. Cheers.